My name is Helmut Schmidt. I am the responsible general manager for Western Europe. We are located in Munich, Germany, um, and I'm responsible for the markets Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and Benelux. And within Munich, we have our sales, training, and service department, and handling the Western European region for Universal Robots, with major on sales and service and training. Universal Robots is uh, the market leader for collaborative robots. We were founded in um, 2005. Um, from 2008 till up to now, we started to, to, to bring the products into the market. So we have three major products. It's a UR3, Universal Robots number 3, 5 and 10. And the number indicates the payload the robot can wear, which means 3 kilo, 5 kilo and 10 kilo. And we became from a startup company, a three-person startup company, within the last 10 years, a 330-person medium-sized robotic market theater company. What are the reasons for this success? So one of the major success is uh, the product itself, which means um, the, 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 the advantages of the product. Uh, so the product is a so-called lightweight robot. Um, it's light, it's safe, it's fast, it's flexible. And one of the major topics, these kind of robots are very easy to program. So you do not need to have a specialist. So for the industrial, for the up to now known robots, you need a robotic specialist for programming. And for our kind of robot, it just can be done by teaching. So you do not need to have a university or doctor's degree. So just to be a pure technician, get a training for 30 minutes, and then you can operate um, a robot. And this is the major advantage up to now, so that we get into small and medium-sized companies. Do you think price has something to do with it as well? Is it a reasonably priced compared to others? And also, um, does it benefit from really not having a lot of competition? There is some competition, but there's not that many collaborative robots out there. Is, 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 is that, would that be fair to say? I, I would say um, there, are two, there are two points. Uh, the price itself is only one topic because um, normally the customer is not only buying the robot arm, but you also need to buy a gripper, a camera system and the integration. So the whole package um, amount of the application is one topic. And of course a, um, a more cheaper uh, robot on the robot arm is one topic. Then the less engineering cost like the programming is the second. And the package then of course is much cheaper. So we are about one third of a, in comparison to an industrial robot. And the second one, of course, we have been the only, the only one uh, at the market at the beginning, six and seven years ago. Um, but this is on one side an advantage, but a disadvantage, if you're the only one try to educate the, the market, it also takes much slower to develop. But yes, it was of course the advantage to be the, the first one and now the followers are just coming. Currently we have a market share, market share um, slightly above 50 percent and we growing in average between 60 and 70 percent per year um, and for the next three and five three to five years we want to keep the same growth rate so 60 to 70 percent and we want to keep the market share on 50 percent if it now comes to the competition um, we are more like more or less happy that we get competitive because as I said before, at the moment we were more or less the only one on sales and marketing, educating the market. And even if now competitors one, two, three and five, it's like a snowball. So we believe that um, the speed as the market will develop will help us as uh, the competitors as well. Um, and we believe if competitors are coming, it would not be a substitution, just the market will grow much faster. And I hope we can still keep the 50% and of course the mark the all the new competitors and take the rest on a huge growing market so we are even happy that we get um, uh, competitors the only topic is they should be on high technical specification they should have the same quality topics so that we don't get any um, disturbances on quality on product because this is would have a bad influence to the to the mrk market in general yeah, I guess what you're saying is that uh, rather than think of it from the point of view of um, you having a big 
piece of uh, the, the pie yes uh, and they might take some of that piece you're saying the pie will grow so our, our share will grow and e e ex e exactly yeah. so we, we believe so there are some figures that sh is saying the market at the moment is around 150 million US dollars and in 2020 it's about 3.5 billion uh, 2022 about 3.5 billion US dollars so the market um, seems to be explode and from 150 million to 3.3 billion US dollars is so huge that we of course want to keep the market share but for the rest it's enough enough space left so who are they buying these robots a few years ago we just started with the automotive and the um, suppliers and producers environment because the automotive industry has already since many many years a high um, connections to industrial robots anyway so we started with automotive it's still a huge market but for the last for the last two or three years it's um, the market like machine tending is one very interesting market the second one is all about packaging pelletizing and labeling and what's going on at the moment is all about logistics like pick and place and robot arm on a mobile platform uh, electronics like mounting and palletizing so the variety is very very huge and um, what's going to happen now is from the huge niches like automotive and electronics and machinery it's going down to to smaller to smaller ones and also this is the reason um, why the market is ex is expanding a lot what are the main market for you going forward in the next year or two where do you think the growth is going to come from both in terms of industrial sectors and geographical areas if you, if you can make predictions about things like that so we, we we believe there are three topics as you just mentioned geographically sec sectors but we also believe it will be a type of customer. Um, on geographically, we will see that the United States, Germany, and Asia, these three market will be most likely the major driver for the next for the next years. Um, US and China due to the size of the market, Germany due to the high cost and wages, and of course the high um, industrial market. On the uh, on the. On, on, the seg on the segments, we believe that especially the lo lo logistics, like Amazon, like a DHL, like whatever, a very personal intensive people running and picking, this will be a topic. But what we believe the biggest growth will come from the segment of companies itself, which means going down from the large companies like a Volkswagen, BMW, or Siemens, down to the small and medium-sized companies. Because on small and medium-sized companies, we have millions of them most of them are not automated yet so we believe if the small and medium-sized companies are open about using collaborative robots because they are easy cheap and have a very fast um, point of investment then this will be the biggest growth currently which means the last one and a half years since Teradyne bought it bought universal uh, robots um, we had a very good first of all development or still development ongoing on, on universal robots this happened because we are part of Teradyne, but we keep our own individuality. So we still are universal robots. We uh, penetrate the market or as universal robots, and we are not totally integrated into co in, into the company um, because we still have a fast-moving or uh, startup character, which cannot be integrated one to one in a large company. But of course, we benefit on 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 structures. Um, because if you are if you are a startup company, a three three person company, ten or twenty, you just look how to grow, how to grow, how to grow. But you sometimes forget about your structures and your procedures. So this, of course, now we benefit on uh, to get lightweight structures. I would say from from Teradyne. And also, if we grow, um, we grow per year sixty to seventy percent. But the same we grow on hiring people. So, but to get these this amount of people on on board we also need of course capital we need um, HR experience and these are the let's say the, the service support we get from Teradyne we benefit from but to develop their market we are on our own very very successful so it's a very perfect uh, fit to Teradyne and Universal Robots.